Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. Today I will discuss with you four DAX shortcuts that can make your life easy while writing multiple lines of DAX codes. Okay, so let me open an example or a DAX code for you where, where I can directly implement those shortcuts and show you. So this is a DAX code we can take as an example. I can zoom in a bit so that it is more clearer to you. Okay. I think now it's completely visible. So let me discuss about the first DAX shortcut. I won't say it's a shortcut, rather it's a way to write multiple lines of DAX code. For example, if you are here, okay, and if you want to move to the next line, you, you can't directly press enter and move to the next line. What you have to do, you have to click on shift and then press enter to move to the next line. Okay, so this is the way or a shortcut you can say to move to write multiple lines of codes for any measure or for any calculated column. So this was the first one. Now moving on to the next text shortcut that is the second one. If I suppose want to move this particular line of code to the next line, what I have to do, I have to just select this particular line and click on Alt plus down arrow button. Okay, as you can see here, it has moved to the next line. Okay, so if there is a requirement and you have to move a particular line of code up or down, you can just click on Alt up or Alt down button as per your requirements. Now again, I have to go back to the original one. What I will do, I will click on Alt plus up arrow button. Okay. So if, if you want to move a particular line up or down, you can use this DAX shortcut. Okay. You don't have to do cop, cut, copy and paste to implement this requirement. Okay. okay. So this was the second shortcut. Now moving on to the third shortcut. So suppose if you have multiple lines of DAX codes and, and suppose you are doing some kind of testing and don't want to evaluate particular lines of codes. So what you can do. So for example, here, if I, if I don't want to evaluate these, these particular lines of codes, what I can do, I can just select those lines. You can click on Alt plus Shift plus A. So what it will do, it will comment down all those lines. So in this way, your lines are not removed. It is there in that particular order and in that particular position and you can use it after some time okay so this is a way of testing our measure or calculated column without removing some lines of quotes okay let me go back to the original form so this was the third DAX shortcut now moving on to the fourth one that is the last one so suppose you have a particular name written in multiple lines and you want to change that particular name for example as you can see here, see here time and day is written in almost every line as you can see here okay and i want to change this time and date with some other name okay so what you will do ideally you will go to every line and change the lines individually okay so that is the time taking process now what i can do i can just click on one shortcut and change this word time and day at the same time in all the lines so what is the shortcut for that we can just click on Control, Shift and L. So now as you can see here, everywhere, wherever time and day was written, it is selected here and you can just type your new word which, with which you want to replace this. So suppose if I want to re replace it with date, so I will, what I will do, I will just type the name. Okay. So as you can see here, everywhere we can do the modification at the same time. Okay, so this was the fourth DAX shortcut where you can change a particular name at the same time if it is present in multiple lines. Okay, so these were the four shortcuts that I wanted to discuss with you all. I hope you liked it. And let me know in the comment box which one was your favorite one. So please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't as you will get this kind of valuable videos on this channel regularly. Thank you.